Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and another installment of Flea and Vintage Markets of the World. Yours truly making here. Today we are not only visiting antique and vintage markets, flea markets, but art galleries and bazaars or souks because we are going to Morocco. Let's get started. This is a tale of two cities, Marrakesh and Aswara. Everyone is probably more familiar with Marrakesh, but if you want to win brownie points with the Moroccan people, the city is Marrakech. The name Marrakesh was given by the different other countries who for centuries occupied them, and they don't really like that name. So remember, Marrakech. Marak. Now, the city is home to so many souks, to whatever your heart desires. Jewelry, leather goods, spices and perfumes, carpets, caftans and antique furniture, street foods, and just experiencing, you know, the good exotic Moroccan street life. The Medina, which is the name for Old City, Jima El Fana Souk, which starts at the beginning of the antique square and then goes into the marketplace and then all the other souks, you know, they tunnel off from there. There in the Medina is exactly how you would imagine it would be. Vendors of spices, foods, and artisan goods being delivered with carts and donkeys still plus amazing antique shops packed with furniture, rugs, art and artifacts from an array of so many different centuries.
Esfera is a port city on the Atlantic Ocean. If you are a fan of Game of Thrones, you will definitely recognize some of the scene locations because much of the series was filmed there, as well as Orson Welles' Othello film from 1952. The city became a hippie hangout in the late 1960s and has a guest list um, including the Rolling Stones, Frank Zappa, Bob Morrison, Jefferson Airplane, Cat Stevens, but the most beloved to the people of Esfera, which you will see evidence all through or see evidence of this all throughout the city is Jimi Hendrix who spent um, time there in July 1969, right before his acclaimed Woodstock performance. The Medina, Old City, of Asuera is an UNESCO World Heritage Site, as well as the Jima Elfna Square in Marrakech. The city is known as the artist city and home to excellent art galleries, as well as many artisan shops full of traditional Moroccan crafts. I was especially impressed from the academy that trains and upholds the intricate silversmith art. When you arrive, you must make a beeline first to the Patisserie de Ries, founded in 1928 and one of the oldest, if not the oldest cafe in the city. Excellent pastries and coffee. Get you some nourishment and a little bit of energy before exploring the city. for lunch, or even later for dinner when they offer every night live music from soulful to vibrant beats, I highly recommend the restaurant Il Mare. On the upper terrace, you have gorgeous views of the sea and the iconic Scala Monument, the uh, ancient fortress there. Some of the most fresh and delicious seafood I have ever had.
Now for my haul. I came back fully packed with treasures. First from the uh, first antique shop in Marrakech, I bought this antique teapot here. It's truly, truly old and very used. Um, it has corrosion holes, but as decor, I love the orange color as contrast to my dark blue kitchen. But what I do use are these mocha cups made from horn and copper and brass and also the matching tray here. Now I have another tray of horn and wood that I have already mounted on the wall in my kitchen as you see here and I'm planning to do a whole wall gallery of different plates from different parts of the world. I love French rose pressed coffee and my coffee press is made of copper, a little foam milk, mm, delicious. From another antique shop, I bought these oversized string of prayer beads. I am gonna hang them somewhere on the wall, haven't decided where, but I thought that was a great find. And if I'm correct, I only pay like 40 bucks for those. At yet another antique shop, um, I bought this antique letter opener. This beautiful antique treasure box from the 19th century. You see when you open it, beautifully intricate. It's been painted and crafted. Love the beautiful green detail. You guys know I love green. It's all over here in my living room and my dining room. Okay, and my necklace from the Berber tribe from the late 1800s. The shop owner had this book where the necklace and similar jewelry was shown. She allowed me to take a picture of the book, which I found on Amazon here in English. This jewelry piece, not only do I wear, but also display it on my coffee table with the book as decor. It is truly an antique artifact and art. Lastly, in Esfera, I purchased this art from a local famed artist, Abqual Nafia. You have probably seen it in my other videos behind my right shoulder in the hallway. I will leave the info to the gallery here and they have a Facebook page. You notice I use pics from the Facebook page because to protect the artwork, no photography or videography was allowed in the gallery. Please note, this is also the case in many of the truly authentic antique shops. These dealers take pride in sourcing and restoring true Moroccan antiques and need to protect themselves from counterfeiters. They copy the pieces and sell them as antiques. And this is where you need to protect yourself that you visit only authentic and long established antique shops. Shopping vintage and secondhand items in the markets or in the souks is no problem. I'm speaking of buying true authentic antiques, something a hundred or more years old. Another piece of information, in the market and at some shops, you can bargain, but there are some in which you cannot, okay? Usually they will have a sign that indicates that prices are final and an attempt to bargain is considered an insult. Let's always show respect when we're a guest in somebody else's country. You guys, Morocco is probably, no, Morocco is my favorite country to visit. The people are so warm, peaceful, inviting. So many different tribes that have lived together in, in, in co cohesion, plus Muslims, Christians, Jews have lived together and supported each other for centuries. This here is truly what I mean by global influence, traveling, and uh, bringing back things that bring you memories when it comes to decorating your home. Even if I did not buy this necklace in that shop, that I was introduced to this book. I read this book four times from front to back, and you'll notice I have tabs here marked because I'm planning on doing something with this information video, how to decorate with jewelry, 
as art in your home and everything here has a memory everything has an experience and i highly recommend if you really would love to visit a country that is of a, a more exotic country that you're not used to and everything first place you should visit is morocco okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you like everything that i bought here you'll see it around in my apartment in later videos and as always, thanks for stopping by. Yours truly, heart making. Happy traveling. They're all braiding hair. Welcome. Thank you.